Hello Curious and welcome back! In the history of cinema and television, there had been plenty of movies and series that featured the royal family. The Queen, A Royal Night Out, The King's Speech and of course, one of Netflix's most successful productions, The Crown, which shows the imagined inner workings of the royal family. But what if we told you that this acclaimed series might have some competition? Enter The Prince, which gives a satirical glimpse into the imagined royal family through the eyes of Prince George. Yes, the eight-year-old Prince George, which had already caused quite a stir online. What is this new production about? Which stars can we expect to see in it? Why had so many people already slammed this show and called it disgusting? Will it be a serious competition for the crown? And would it be possible for the young prince and his siblings to see it themselves one day? Stay with us until the very end to find out what about this show caused such an outcry but before we continue, don't forget to give us a thumbs up, turn on the notifications and subscribe to our channel so you stay up to date with the hottest celebrity gossip. It looks like in recent years, adult cartoons on Netflix had become quite popular, with series such as Rick and Morty, Big Mouth, Disenchantment being very popular. And now, a time has come for not only a satirical show about the royal, but an animated one as well. So before getting any further talking about why this comedy show had angered so many, let's first look at what it's about. As we said earlier, this show, just like The Crown, looks at the imagined private lives of the royals. In this version, the storyline is mainly focused on Prince George and told from his perspective. The show's eight-year-old is a tiny tyrant who is obsessed with social media and who treats his butler, Owen, poorly, making the man jump at his every whim. He does not listen to his parents but does suck up to his gangan, the Queen. Oh, and there is bitter rivalry between him and his little sister, Prince Charlotte. The rest of the royals are portrayed as a dysfunctional family that has no concept of what things are like in the outside world, with the Queen being prone to violence, Charles being mummy's boy, Camilla being mute and Kate Middleton being portrayed with a drinking problem, wondering why she married into the family. Prince Harry and Meghan Markle also feature on the show, already living in a small apartment in America, with the Duke's character being shown as someone who doesn't know what the most basic things are, such as the fridge. It's all very much the royals meet family guy, with many saying the way the little prince sounds and his mannerisms reminds them of Stewie Griffin. And there is a good reason for that. The man behind the show and the one who voices George himself is Gary Gennetti, who has worked as a producer on Family Guy. Of its sitcoms that he can add to his name are Will and Grace and Vicious. Many comments under the official trailer for this brand new production were quick to point out the similarity, with some, who did not like the show, calling it a lazy reuse of the characters that he previously had worked on. Others had said that if this was an episode of Family Guy, George could have easily been Stewie's cousin. Now since this show was announced, many had wondered if it would give us a glimpse of what life is like for the royal children and the rules that they have to follow, especially given the fact that this is the first production to feature the children of Prince William and Kate Middleton. But given the nature of the show and the fact that the characters are portrayed in a satirical way, chances are that the situations portrayed in the show are far from reality. It can safely be assumed that Prince George did not have a friend kidnapped and helicoptered into Buckingham Palace and surely something like that would have made headlines. But if you want to know what life is like for them and the many rules and regulations the children have to follow, then be sure to click on the link above and check out our previous video. The show was set to premiere in May but was postponed following the passing of the Duke of Edinburgh, who in the show is not portrayed in the best light but more as a babbling old man who can't speak or even chew his own food. So you can imagine why they might have decided to wait a while. But for the longest time, no news was released from HBO Max until July 28th when a trailer dropped announcing that at midnight on July 30th, all 12 episodes would be available on its platform. Besides Ginetti, the cast also stars Orlando Bloom as Prince Harry, Condola Rashant as Meghan Markle, Game of Thrones star Ewan Rion as Prince William, Lucy Punch as his on-screen wife Kate Middleton, Frances de la Tour as the Queen, Beauty and the Beast star Dan Stevens as Prince Charles, and Sansa Stark aka Sophie Turner herself as Princess Charlotte. So where Orlando Bloom is concerned, could this new role of his, where he voices Prince Harry, get him in trouble with the real thing who is not only his good friend and also his neighbour? Yes, curious, you heard that right. And that's not just some he said, she said kind of thing, but news that came straight from Prince Harry himself when he appeared on Dax Shepard's podcast, The Armchair Expert, where he talked about how she struck up a budding friendship with Bloom, saying that they keep in touch and text each other as he lives down the road and they let each other know about the paparazzi. 
As per an interview that the Lord of the Rings star did, he signed on to this project before meeting the Duke of Sussex, and it was actually his wife, Katy Perry, who had told him to take the role on because the show was genius. Speaking of the celebrity couple, if you want to know more about if there is a reason for them to celebrate, you can check out our previous video by clicking on the link above. But for now, stay with us to find out why the cast was slammed by online users. Whether any members of the actual royal family have heard of this satirical cartoon is unknown, though it could be speculated that one way or another they will hear about it. And while we don't know what their reactions will be, we do know how the internet reacted, and they weren't pleased. While some took an issue of the satire and the jokes of the show, most had called the producers out for the fact that the show makes fun of real-life children. While fans of Ginetti had tried to defend him, pointing out its comedy and comparing it to Family Guy, others had stated that his previous work was all fiction, and that the children created on the show were not real, unlike the ones featured in this one. And with the little Prince George saying phrases such as, excuse me, do you have any tea that doesn't taste like piss?" and calling his great-grandmother a bad bitch you could see why people wouldn't take kindly to it. Many royal commentators had decided to let their opinions be known, with one who wished to remain anonymous stating, Frankly, I think it's rather cruel and I don't think it's particularly edifying. Omid Scobie, who in the past had written several books on the royals, took to his social media to comment on this show, pointing out that while the royals had been parodied plenty of times in the past, as far as he recalls, it is the first time children are targeted, and to him, this show seems creepy and that it's borderline bullying. A thing that the children's father has campaigned against in the past with his task force on the prevention of cyberbullying launched in 2016. Even those who in the past had spoken out against the monarchy were quick to dismiss it, echoing Scobie's words and pointing out that a child won't understand why you are making fun of them. Besides the children, many, including the critics, also took offence at the aforementioned portrayal of Prince Philip. It was his passing that delayed the release of this show, and many had pointed out that since the show did not put him in a good light, they should have used this time to edit him out of the show as a sign of respect. Of course, the stars of the show also got their fair share of criticism for taking part in it, especially Orlando Bloom and Sophie Turner. The two actors, who had stressed the importance of keeping their children away from the eyes of the media to give them privacy, have been called hypocrites for starring in a show that seemingly bullies a child. When Turner, who has a daughter named Willow with husband Joe Jonas, shared the trailer to her social media, fans were quick to let her know exactly what they think of this show and her decision to participate in it, with one user saying, so I guess it's fine as long as it's not your child, with many similar comments being directed at Orlando Bloom on social media. Though with the release of the show, some had wondered if it would be some sort of competition for the crown. Here it is worth reminding that both of the shows give a fictitious look into the daily lives of the royal family, and when it first aired, the Netflix hit was heavily criticised for some of its storylines that were either based on gossip or completely made up, which didn't sit right with some royal enthusiasts. Though for the most part, The Crown has been critically acclaimed and won several awards, unlike the HBO Max show that was being met with mostly criticism. So looking at how many had taken to this show, chances are that The Crown is in no danger of being overturned as one of the best shows about the monarchy. A thing that many people who were against the cartoon had asked was, what if Prince George and his siblings ever see this? And while that is an important question, the chances of that happening are slim. According to many reports, the children have a strict allotted time to watch TV. As per Cheat Sheet, the children only have about an hour a day to watch television and what they watch is carefully monitored by their parents. They have their own cartoons that they like and often sit down with their parents watching documentaries. The limited time is due to the fact that both Prince William and Kate Middleton want their kids to spend their time in an active way outside or playing with their toys. So chances are that they won't get a chance to see the show. And so curious, what are your thoughts on it? Are you as outraged about the idea of it as some internet users? Do you think many have the right to call Orlando Bloom and Sophie Turner hypocrites? Will you watch it? And if you have already, what are your thoughts? And do you reckon that these royal children should be off limits? Let us know your thoughts in the comments below and as always, don't forget to like, share and subscribe to our channel. Until next time.